Hello Collective, this is the Abundance Weekly Abundance Reading. This is for Scorpio. Thank you angels, thank you guides for your wisdom, your inspiration, your protection, your guidance, and above all for your presence. We're going to dive right in. I mentioned that I had done a bunch of videos on the 13th and for some reason there were issues with them wow, uploading to YouTube. So I actually was in the middle of getting a new setup here. It's much more streamlined, easier for you folks to see. So I thought I would just do them over again. And amazingly, a lot of the, some, <laughs> some of the same cards have been coming up um, and things that have been happening that happened in the previous readings, which I thought was really interesting. Okay. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. This is, that's too many cards here. This is for Scorpio, August 14th through the 21st. What do you have for our Scorpios, August 14th through the 21st for their abundance? And this is spiritual abundance. This is financial abundance. This is abundance in relationships. Thank you, guys. What do you have for Scorpio here? Messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this week. Okay, Scorpio, honest to goodness, just like last time, you got two cards instead of three or four. Uh, you have the Earth Guardian, which is to stay rooted and grounded. I feel like you folks are coming into a lot of new things right now, um, and it's a really good idea. Okay, to make sure that you're keeping up with your daily practices, sometimes a couple times during the day, I'm hearing, because you're, if you're in an unknown atmosphere and you're starting new things, um, you know, staying tuned in is key, okay, to keep everything happening at, um, you know, a level that's for your highest good, right? Stargazer, set your sights higher. Some of you might not be... Um, might be underestimating yourself or your gifts is what I'm hearing. Take time to reflect, okay? What do we have for Scorpio, please? Thank you, angels. Wow, we've got three that just popped out. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. This is for the week of August 14th through the 21st. Thank you. Okay, first two cards we have forgiveness, number 49. A lot of us are working on that right now. It's about forgiving ourselves, forgiving others in the spirit of divinity. Okay, like take a step back, like that Zen step back, that Zen detachment, see things from a higher perspective so you can bring in that divine love, respect other people's journeys. That's number 49. We have the queen. Uh, number four, women, fertility, feminine, power, sexuality, and friendships. Oh, excuse me. So a lot of you uh, might be cultivating friendships this week. Okay. Uh, fertile in that respect with new projects that are going on, things like that. Um, what a great card to get to be doing that. Yeah, you've got the queen. And then, of course, Merlin popped out. Heading towards into the future this week, alchemy, justice, and balance, number one, which is kind of the counterpart there to the queen. Okay, so basically you've got this. Just stay rooted and grounded because the energies that you're showing here, okay, are just absolutely amazing coming into this week. Um, like abundance off the chart, amazing. We have for Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Scorpio for the week of, thank you, August 14th through the 21st for Scorpio, please. What do you have for our Scorpios? Can you give me, let's see. Oh, I got four cards there. I didn't even notice that I was going to ask for another card. I thought there were only two. So we've got the three of summer. News we're celebrating. Announcements such as weddings, graduations, or birth. Friends, you cherish. Fantastic. What an exciting week. <laughs> Some news is going to be coming in for you. Maybe that's why you're being reminded to set your sights higher. Okay. And, you know, obviously staying rooted and grounded so you can process the information, make valid decisions, good decisions. But um, you're going to have some good news coming in here. I've got the aid of summer, the desire for a more meaningful life. Realize that it's time to move on. Choosing to make major life 
changes. Okay, so as these offers are coming in, you may want to really be thinking about, you know, what is my highest good? Don't underestimate yourself, okay? Follow that desire for that more meaningful life here, okay? Because that's what happens. When we start to change and transform, the opportunities come in at a higher level because we're at a higher level, okay? Um, and part of this forgiveness, this is part of a continuing process, okay? These are like the cycles of life. We have cycles with different people that we're involved with, with situations, with ourselves, with um, our habits, um, our thoughts, okay? So it's to stay in that forgiveness, stay in that kind of detached, higher perspective viewpoint so you can open up and let all of this in and deal with it in a really, you know, mature way. Wow. Yeah, I've got the wheel. Delays are over. Sudden and unexpected. Good luck. A new car travel. Scorpio, your week is going to be just banging here. <laughs> right? Okay. Four of summer. Uh, let's see. Okay. Being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity. Taking someone or something for granted. Discontent with life. Okay. I'm going to put this opportunity over here between the Merlin and the Queen. That is where you are focused. This is where your focus needs to be. Not back here. Not back on this stuff. I'm going to take a health card here. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus about their health. This could be brought on by anxiety, I'm hearing. That's why it's so important to stay rooted and grounded. Um, I really feel like, you know, this, this fear type stuff this distraction is is based on fear okay and you need to move past that yeah we've got unconditional joy dear archangel raphael thank you for helping me appreciate everything that makes me happy right now gratitude is another way to stay in this energy okay don't let this stuff get in your way you've learned these lessons already scorpio okay uh, I mentioned in the last reading with Virgo, the four, seven, eight breathing method. You breathe in for four, you hold it for seven, breathe in through your nose for four, hold it for seven, and exhale from the mouth for eight. If you do that cycle, like honor it and do it in a sacred way, two to three times, it's going to help put you back in your body. It's going to help ground you. It's going to help you tune into that divinity. So take it easy there, Scorpio. Relax. Okay, realize the gifts that you are bringing to the table. Know your worth, I'm hearing. What else do we have for Scorpio, please? August 14th through the 21st, because you've just got great things coming in. And they don't want you to miss it, which is why they're giving you this guidance. Okay? All right. Like, could I say it again? Confirmation from a second deck, the wheel. Tons of opportunities coming in for you. High-level opportunities, I'm hearing. So just stay grounded, stay focused. Don't let yourself get caught up in um, anxiety, okay? I also see partnerships. This is the lovers. You may be in a relationship right now. Know that that relationship um, is, I feel it's being supportive for you. Again, this is a general reading. Please, if it doesn't resonate for you, leave it for those that it does resonate with. But I feel like you're going to be able to lean on that. Or there might be a partnership, an opportunity for a partnership here that is going to bring you into a space that you're going to have support where you are. Okay. I'm going to do some uh, affirmation and meditation reflection quotes. This is for Scorpio week of August 14th through the 21st. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Week of August 14th through the 21st. This is just going to be an incredible week for you. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. Please comment and let me know, um, you know, what pans out for you guys. Okay? I, need, I know I need to post my email. Some of you have my email and you contact me that way. But post in the comments um, any, anything that affirms or anything that, that works with this reading, right? Affirmation. I am worthy of love and choose to love myself. Give yourself a break. Take 
take care of that anxiety. Be good to yourself, Scorpio. Okay, it's about encompassing those emotions. It's about, you know, recognizing them, being authentic in those emotions and giving them their space that they need to. Yes, may I be happy? May I be peaceful? May I be free from suffering? May they be happy. May they be peaceful. May they be free from suffering. May all be happy. May all be, excuse me, peaceful. May all be free from suffering. Great mantra, great affirmation to help you ground, okay? Uh, I know for me, sometimes if I see something in a reading, I'll go back, I'll take a picture of it, right? And keep it with me if it's helpful for those moments when we need them. This is another quote. The one defeats a million men in battle, one who overcomes the self alone is in fact the highest victor. It's about self-regulation. Self-regulation with all these fantastic opportunities coming in. So Scorpio, I hope this has been helpful for you. Have a fantastic week. Like this is just going to be incredible for you. So take it in. Um, you know, really take time to breathe it in and understand that this is, I, I just keep hearing, this is all coming from hard work that you've done. You've earned all of this. You know, set your sights higher. You don't realize maybe the work that you've done and what you've accomplished and you are bringing this stuff in. Okay, it's well earned is what I'm hearing. If that helps you to kind of resonate and ground. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the likes, sh uh, shares, and subscribes. You can hit the bell. It'll tell you when I upload a new video. Uh, thank you for that energy exchange as it goes out into the universe as well. Take good care of yourself, Scorpio. Take care of others and always be kind.